So we want to compute a Fibonacci number. And um, part of the solution here is that we want to retain um, some information. Because with the Fibonacci number, the idea is the sum of the last two numbers you've taken are going to be the, is going to be the answer to the next number in the sequence. So the way we're going to solve this is by saying if n equals 0, then return 0. Okay, And then we'll say if n in 1 or 2, return 1, because that's the first two um, digits in our sequence, the first two numbers in the sequence. But then what happens when the number is a lot, the, 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 the number in the Fibonacci is a lot, sequence is a lot bigger, right? The idea is that we retain the last two. And how that looks is like this. So we start with 1 and 1, because we have um, 0 and 1, and 1 and 0 is 1 and 1. And so we have to find a way to ultimately use that, that storage to take the sum of the last two and then replace the last two uh, with the new information that we've, we've gathered. So let's do this recursively. We'll say rec for recursive of n if n equals 2 return. And otherwise, so if n is 2 return, 2 dot append two dot append sum of two okay and then two dot pop zero okay so two dot pop zero so we don't need we don't need that first value in that um in that array anymore because we just want the last two so we get rid of it that'll help us retain a good amount of space so then we say rec of n minus one all right rec of n minus one because we want to count down from the number that we're that we're computing. So we say, okay, rec of n, and then we return two uh, minus one. It's the last number in two. We run, accepted, submit, outstanding.